Okay, I see District 7 maybe ready to go, and I see District 1. You guys are talking still over there? Are you guys ready? I see some conversations still going on. Okay, district let me let me go to district 7 first. District 7, can we pull, Okay, here we go. We're pulling up district 7. Jacob Valenzuela. We would like to give back 1.35 million to Botanical Gardens. So we're going to zero that out? Yes, and we're going to continue to um, not stay in our lane by giving um, money, 600000 to District 1. Okay. So it's going to be 600000 Yeah, so we're taking 600000 from O.P. Schnabel and giving it to our fellow district, District 1, 600,000. Okay, so we'll allow staff a second here to make that change. Is that all the changes that need to be made? That's it. So when you Question. Said, when you said to District 1 for Old Spanish Trail, Right? Yes. OST. Staff, do you have that? Okay. Okay, so with that. Uh, we need now a motion. Uh, so, Jacob, we are making now the motion for District 7 change to be um, OP Schnabel, Schnabel uh, to be a line item reduced by 600000 to transfer over to an increase of the Old Spanish Trail by 600000 That is the motion on the table. Can I have a second? Kathy is the second. Um, all those are any discussion, please. Questions? We yeah. still, we still, David. Oh, excuse me. Yes, David. Bill. Oh, I'm sorry, Bill. 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 Yeah. My wife calls me, hey there. <laughs> hey there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we still, we still going to get the 95 acres, right, for OP Snavel? Because I'd hate to see a thousand houses go on that piece of land when we can do park. So we yes, yes, the land acquisition is still happening. Good, that good. Okay. Any more questions? Any more discussion? All those in favor, please raise your hand. Okay, all those not in favor, please raise your hand. All those abstaining, raise your hand. All those not here, raise your hand. <laughs> okay, I just had to do that. Okay, motion passes. Thank you very much. Great change. We now move on to, let's see, who else is ready to go? District 5, are you ready? Or District 1, let's go to District 1. When we first began deliberations, District 1 was committed to staying in our lane. And in doing so, we attempted to reallocate funds for Old Spanish Trail. I would like to commend my colleagues on this committee for working with us together. And we have come to an understanding of what's important to our community. Even though we recognize that there's only a street that divides us from one district to another, we understand the impact that Old Spanish Trail will have on both of our communities and certainly citywide. With that being said, we would like to reallocate monies that were originally dedicated to La Villita and also to McFarland Tennis Center for a total of 1.475 million. And in the spirit 
of getting out of our lane, we would like to contribute 150,000 from the downtown park package to District 5. Let's read the, let's read the amount. Wait. Would you like me to repeat those amount, the, amount the, staff? The amount, okay. The amount. So the amount for La Vita is 1.25. 1.25? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Not that much. <laughs> We're generous, not that generous. And McFarland is 225. Yes. There we go. And then 150. From the, downtown from the downtown park, park package. And that is going to District 5. Yes. District 5 park package. And then the other amount goes to OP. Yeah, that one goes to District 5. Yeah. So that's 150. Yeah, 150. Right. And then the Old Spanish, Old Spanish Trail. They get 1475, I guess. Yep. Yeah. You want to say something about that? Like in discussion. In discussion. So, so Chair, if I may, just to uh, let people know, because these are new and hadn't been discussed, so this will zero out. Uh, Xavier, what, yes. one second. We're gonna get this a motion and then a second, and uh -huh. then we'll have you in part of discussion. Hang on one second. Is that, does that capture what you all, the intention? Yes, it does. Uh, McFarland Tennis Center, by the way, is it's with the tennis center, yeah. It's an I instead of an A. M-C-F-A-R-L-I-N. Are there any other additions, subtractions that you want to add here? Okay. So uh, for Council District 1, we can all see, and for the record, uh, it will be as reflected here. Can I get uh, that motion? It is as moved. Um, can I get a second? A second by Charles English. Thank you very much. And uh, now it's open for discussion, and we have uh, staff to make uh, open up the discussion. Just, just to the so the committee is, uh, understands the proposal. La Vita was that is the full amount in La Vita, so that would zero that out, uh, as well as the McFarland Tennis Center that was only for two twenty five as well. So just so people are aware, the the downtown park package still. A big chunk remains intact. Um, Xavier, could you just would you please give us a little bit of detail on that for La Vita? I'll uh, ask Mike to do La Vita because I'm not familiar with that one. But on the McFarland, uh, those were ADA improvements improvements to the uh, clubhouse at McFarland. Thank you, Mike. Sure, we've talked a little bit about La Vita, just the uh, aging uh, infrastructure. In the in the biggest the plaza areas there, um, you know, so that that was uh, the vision there. That's the greatest need for that area, up against the buildings and all the way to the streets. Just reworking to improve that plaza. Thank you. Okay, uh, let's see, uh, Phoebe, please. I just want to thank District 1 for their um, help and assistance um, with the 150. It, do you have a problem reallocating that instead of to the park package, though, to the senior uh, softball league with Normal? It's still within District 5. Is that okay? I'll accept that, yes. Great. Okay, so can we make that to the senior softball league? Normal. Normal. Excellent. Okay, so do we have to make a revision? Okay, so we have to actually withdraw the motion, and then it's now a substitute, as substituted, and then get a new motion, right? Yes. Okay, so this is the new motion uh, that is done by Phoebe and seconded by Melanie. Right, so now we're back to discussion. 
now Grace. I, um, I want to thank District 1 for working across uh, Fredericksburg Road. We have, sort of have that invisible line that goes through the middle of it, and it goes all the way down and, you know, into Deco District, and we've worked on bonds, you know, before together. So I do appreciate that because uh, it does not just benefit our two districts, but this project, like you said, is going to do about six districts as, uh, as they had um, looked at, at the... Uh, users and the children that, that actually play the soccer. So thank you very much for doing that. Any other discussion? All right, so motion seconded and seconded the substitution. We can all see it on the screen. Um, all those in favor, please raise your hand. Looks like that's everyone but all those not in favor, please raise your hand. All those abstaining, please raise your hand. All right, that motion passes. That's District 1. Great job. All right, now let's go to District 6. Are you ready? Yes, as ready as going to be. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, what we've done, we've done a lot of uh, discussion and compromise. As far as the skate park, we're going to reduce that from three million to cut it in half to one and a half million. And then Mike, I'd like to ask you a question. I'm sorry, Mr. Frisbee, I'd like to ask you a question. After all this time. <laughs> <laughs> We're not divorcing yet. He's still <laughs> smiling, too. I mean, we have, you know, as I think there's been a lot of words, dirty the line, this kind of stuff. But we've got no, we've already negotiated just about everything we had as far as what we can do with the money that we, we had. How much would one and a half million dollars affect the, the uh, project that all these signs are affected here? Is it going to kill it? Is it going to impact it more than uh, more than the benefits that this skate park would have for the kids? You're talking about Hemisphere Civic yes, Park. Yes, sir. So 1.5 million. Uh, I do. Rem it will impact it. It won't kill the project, but it will change the scope of the project. We already cut it back significantly to get to the 21 million. So Can we add a skate park in there? No. <laughs> well, you know. Uh, We'll so it would, it, it we'll would have an, anything below the 21 w would have a scope impact uh, that would have to be uh, figured out with the project to cut something back. Okay, because I'm having some difficulty in that that's the biggest project, biggest number that we have. It's also, I think, the one that uh, with as much impact and support as we have around the room tonight, I'm sure that they can uh, continue and complete the funding. And it's kind of I think defeats the purpose of this committee of everything that we've gone through and brought people in with the idea of bringing their projects forward to lock into these amounts the way we have. So if anybody else would like to help with this, I'd appreciate it. Otherwise, what we'll have to do is put it on that major project list. <coughs> yeah. You're referring to the, the priority list. Right. I really don't want to do that. I, I think we're going to, whereas Hemisphere will go through with that one and a half million divot out of it, uh, this other one I don't think will. We, we have the people at the time, I don't think they had the money to buy t-shirts and bring signs in tonight. But uh, if they could have, they would have. And uh, I'm just disappointed in the process. So anyway. That's what I'd like to do. That's what we'd like to put up there. Bill? Um, park. Uh, can you tell us where we are on Hemisphere Park? Are we down one and a half million, or where are we on total for Hemisphere Park right now? We're still at, we're still at the 21. We're still, we're still at 21? Yeah. 
So we take out the 1.5, we're still at 21? No, no, if you, okay, on, based on actions, you're at 21 million still at, at the okay. staff recommended. So uh, if we take this out, we're at like 19.5 or something like that, or 18.5? 18.5, right. 19.5, okay. What did I say? 19.5, yeah, 19.5. 19.5, sorry. <laughs> Mr. Rivard. Uh, yeah, I'd just like to point out that I think there's not a district here that wouldn't like a million and a half dollars out of the biggest project on the list. It seems a little bit greedy to me to, to claim that for District 6 when all of us have more needs that have not been unmet. And I'd, it's not to diminish the skate park project at all. I'd love to see it happen. But I would ask that you look elsewhere besides this project, which is we, we've, we've heard loud and clear why this is the best business investment out of any of these projects on the list. So I don't understand why it's only OK for District 6 to do it when you know, we, we have tens of millions of unmet park needs in our district, but we're not grabbing for these citywide impacts. I think, can I? Go ahead and respond and then I will go to Mark. Okay, our, our, uh, our uh, councilman identified 3.2 million in this particular area. And I think across the board, he was very conscientious into the amount that he budgeted. So we are, we are in the situation now where we have something that through this process, was brought in front of this committee and given why it was a, a good project. We have looked at it as a district. We've identified that it is a good project, that it would benefit it. We had looked at all of this money, all of these projects were open. We as a committee have to decide what is best. It's not like I'm focusing on this particular project. It is the one that I think that can have the support that will be completely funded. It has the least impact on, and that's why I put that up there. I would much have preferred if we could have said, hey, let's put another one and a half million dollars and put it on the bond. That option's not given to me. The option was given to me to do what I did. And I don't do it lightly. I like all of you folks. Uh, I'm sorry that I've had to do this, but I really firmly believe in this. And I firmly believe that if we do not do this now, it's not going to happen. So Mark. I'm asking you folks to please consider that as far as, 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 far as, as, as an option. Okay. Mark, then Charles. Yeah. Um, we here at District 10 are, 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 are sympathetic to, to y'all's desire for the skate park. I think it's real easy to look at $21 million, the big number, you know, that's been put before us and for everybody to want to grab some of that money um, for projects within their own district uh, that would make a difference in people's lives. Um, but I think actually this committee, I want to commend them, has shown incredible um, restraint and recognizes the value um, and the merit in this uh, hemisphere project. Uh, this is a project that's going to create some 3,700 jobs here in San Antonio. Um, it's going to have an uh, a financial uh, impact for the city of about $400 million a year. Um, people from every district in our city um, make use of, of Hemisphere Park. Uh, the money that's being allocated, this $21 million, is going towards improvements for the park, not, not hotels or shops or anything like that, but actual improvements for the park. Thank you. And, um, and, and so I think I commend the committee for um, um, holding strong, not trying to take this money. And unfortunately, I think we uh, should vote to deny this proposal by District 6. Charles. Charles? Yes, uh, chairs and committee. 
Um, it was just brought to me, my attention by my colleague, and I also talked talk to uh, Mr. Uh, Frisbee. It was said that District 1 and District 2 is getting a lot of money, but there's something called rough proportionality. District 5 is getting $40 million in street and bridge and drainage. So therefore, it seems like some may get more than others, and this should be in your case, in a rough proportionality, in, in a whole gamut of things where you said your council person was aware this is, this is probably all he could, uh, could get. So we have to take that in consideration where we don't have all the information to all the different four, uh, all four programs. We do have the information here in, in this process and we did tour that, those particular uh, places and I think that Civic Park really needs to get what it, it, it can so that it can move forward on its maintenance and so forth for the years to come. Uh, Sean, and then back to Merrill. I don't want to sound like a broken record, but I see that, you know, several districts have already advocated um, for Hemisphere concerning the, um, the importance of the park and what we try to do, my constituents and I, is show good faith towards our belief in it by already literally agreeing to give up $1.6 million, even to the point of hurting two of our projects and only partially funding a new project. So it, it is very difficult for me to, to look at what we've done already thus far in our own particular district. And then at the exact same time, I kind of feel like with a big marlin on the side of the fit, side of the boat right now, and because we have $21 million, you know, for hemisphere that, you know, is, is being eaten away. So I, I just hope that in the spirit of cooperation, that we show, show, show forth good faith of putting forth $1.6 million even to the detriment of two of our projects and only partially funding one of our new projects and, and that can be taken into consideration. Um, and, and, and we please ask you to, to please let us fully fund um, Hemisphere Park for the full $21 million. Merrill and then Melanie. then, well, I'd be more than happy to uh, accept money from any other group. Uh, but if not, if not, let's go ahead. Where are you going to have the process to move the project over to the, to the uh, priority list? So I've, I've been marking down a list, and I know staff is also tracking a list as well. I want to review that list. There's actually two right now. I have Charles, we've talked about, uh, Dawson Park, um, Hay Street Bridge was one that we've discussed. The skate park, I think, is one that we would all agree could be on here. Um, and I think before we go tonight, I'd like to just review that, make sure that ones that we all agree should be on here do make it on there. Um, and then we'll review that before we leave tonight as well. Okay. Before you do that, Melanie. Okay. I just wanted to give a little anecdote about Hemisphere. We all probably have some really warm, fuzzy feeling about Hemisphere and the and Tower of the Americas, but it's been a part of my family since as long as I could remember him, even before I was born. It's literally given me and most of us our entire livelihood and what we love about San Antonio. I don't look at it as just another park downtown. I come all the way from another corridor, another part of town, and I represent another district. I bring four children to that park once a week, speaking three different languages. I took two refugee children there when they first immigrated here to the United States, when they had to leave their war-torn country. One of them was a paraplegic. She had not spoken a word of her native language in a year. And it took me a month to get her on a swing because she could barely walk and she was here in this country due to orthopedic surgery. Hemisphere was able to give her her first giggle back after hearing bombs nonstop in her country. I still take her there because that is where she still hears giggles and that is where I get to hear her laugh and play. And if I don't take her there, even when it's raining and it's cold outside now, she asks me about Civic Park. She does not live in the district. She lives in District 9. And I still drive all the way over there to pick her up. 
So for anybody to try to take any money from another district, I get it. I get it. We are all spokes in a wheel. And to not hear a child's laughter and what Civic Park will be bringing in, in the musical world, that, that's really hurtful to me and to our future generations of San Antonians and potentially people that we are bringing from other parts of the country to see the beauty that we all see. I'm a San Antonio native and I'm so proud of this city and I'm so proud of our beacon of light downtown. And I'm very proud of all the little jewels that we have in our pocket neighborhoods. So for us to, to start hammering down and to, to say negative things about a park, it's really hurtful and it's really hard for me to hear. But to fully fund Civic Park is to fully fund laughter and to fully fund music and items that we all enjoy. And if you don't think that that's the case, then you really should be walking around because it is one park that you can feel safe walking around right now at this time by yourself. I can't say that about many parks, but I can truly say that about Hemisphere. Okay, Richard, and then we're gonna go to a vote. Okay, so let me speak my piece with regards to this particular situation. I happen to have 14 grandkids. Okay, so I'm a totally blessed man. I'm not rich, but I'm rich in other ways. So I'm really totally blessed. I love kids. And, and when you have a situation where we have an opportunity to provide these kids with some area where they can go and congregate and deal with each other all the way around versus going out into the community, into our, the rest of the community, and not just in District 6, but all your communities, all districts going off and doing those bad things that they, that they want to do, this is an opportunity to do something good for those kids. And, and they came here with good sense to try to get that done. I, I understand that the, the situation was regards to Hemisphere. I mean, I agree with my colleague. I, I've been here, I was born here in 1947. I've been here all my life. Hemisphere is great. Henry Gonzalez was a fantastic a congressman all the way around. But you gotta make room for the growth. That's leadership, future leadership that we're talking about here for young kids that we try to make sure that they do the right thing. That's all I'm saying. Thank you very much. And um, it comes down to uh, this time where we have to make a difficult decision. Um, and, you know, it is because we are all so passionate about great spaces where people come together that we have been selected to be at this table and at this juncture. And I think what's so important is that we recognize that, that these decisions are not personal, that these decisions are um, ones that we have taken seriously um, and, and ones that we, um, you know, we take wholeheartedly. Um, and, and I want to certainly impress uh, that I, I think that the process that has brought us here has been fantastic. It's been transparent and we have gone through it and we've taken it step by step. Um, and we have made a decision to go one way and then you know we've had to make some adjustments and so I appreciate the patience um, that everybody has had in order to do that. Um, but I, I, I sincerely hope that at the end of this that we look and, and we figure out how that uh, that if it doesn't go the way that, that you hope, um, we look how to come back and leave it as a priority um, because uh, it's not necessarily that we didn't agree with it being important because I think we all do. We just see that um, it's important that there are projects uh, that need to be uh, to be seen um, and, and to be, well, I don't want to, uh, let me not go there. I just want to, I just want to state that we also need to leave this priority list um, for other projects because there are eventualities that happen. And so I want us to make sure we revisit other projects because there are unfunded projects just like the skate park that did pop up. Um, and staff has done a great job in vetting projects. So. I want us to be to leave this room knowing that this was a good process. So with that, let's go for a vote. Do you need a motion? Okay. So, uh, but we did have a motion. Yeah. 
We did have a motion. Yeah, okay, so with that, do we need clarification? Okay, so for clarification, um, we are voting on uh, a reduction of the hemisphere um, budget by $1.5 million that would go to then the skate park um, by $1.5 million. Okay, so with that, um, all those in favor, please raise your hand. That's okay. Okay, all those not in favor, please raise your hand. All those not voting, please raise your hand. We have, uh, please raise your hand higher so that, okay, we've got three, four people not voting, abstaining from vote. Does staff have that record? Do you need it raised again? We are four abstentions actually. Um, Olga Martinez did not abstain. Okay, so that motion fails. Very good. Okay, so that finishes number six. All right, so let's finish number five and then we will be done. Okay, so yeah, nix the zoo garage, nix the UIW, nix the botanical gardens, leave Normwell. Um, you're gonna have to nix the park package. Okay, now these monies. Okay, so we've already established that um, District One graciously offered 150,000 toward the senior, the normal senior softball league. Um, District two, thank you so much for working with me, and I really appreciate that as well. Um, we're going to take 250 out of the zoo parking garage. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have told you to nix it. That was my bad. <laughs> 250,000 from the zoo parking garage. Norman Park and that Okay, and that's it because we already have the other 150 and That's where it's gonna stay right now Well, I don't think that The 150 has already been voted on I don't think they put it in there Wait, it was two fifty. Oh, wait, no, it's two fifty and six fifty, and then oh, the two fifty also goes to normal senior league. I'm sorry, my bad. That's silly. There we go. Now we're cooking with fire. There you go. Yay, we match numbers. I love it. And then yes, it'll be a million five when it's done. Okay. So that's where we're sitting right now. I did kind of walk around and ask if anybody would be willing to donate a little piece of their pie. And unfortunately, I didn't have too many takers. But I do appreciate those who were able to reach out and, um, and offer some assistance. Yeah, I think. OK, so uh, do, can I get a, so it's so moved that this is their proposal. Um, can I get a second to that, please? Okay, Charles English is the second. Um, I'm going to actually ask staff to please address um, the changes in the budget for each of these items. The 250 from the garage and the park, please. So the uh, the garage, if you combine both categories, uh, is a $12 million garage. So $250,000. Um, uh, you know, I, we, we were very concerned when you were talking about a million. 250 probably workable. Um, if that, if the committee wants to do something like that, it's probably probably workable. It would still be three levels. We would have to just look at everything to, to fit it within the budget, but we, we could expect to still get three levels. Yeah. And the um, the park reduction. 
to view it. Right, so the normal se senior league is at normal pa normal park, so this would be focusing the money to the senior uh, softball league improvements versus the general park improvements. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. same park, same park. I think Olga had it was first and then Charles. So what is the total of normal park right now? You're at what? Xavier will answer that. So staff recommendation on normal is the full 650. That was for just general park improvements within the park. What District 5 has recommended that those be specifically uh, designated to the senior softball complex that is also located at Normal Park. Okay, we want to go ahead and take uh, Jupe Park was had an increase, and we want to go ahead and take one hundred thousand and go ahead and give it to Normal. Thank you so much. We appreciate your support. Oh, we don't have that much, so someone else should also go ahead and say, hey, you know what? It is Christmas. Okay. So we need to vote on this one first, and then we need to do a separate motion for the other one, what you just suggested. Okay, so we're, we, because we already have a second, we're gonna have to do that separately because we already have that motion as stated here. So we're gonna have to do this first and then we'll, Olga, we'll have to come back and, and do that as a second piece. Okay, Ken. Um, Mike, I have a question uh, about, about the zoo uh, garage. So two hundred fifty thousand dollars. There's a there's a lot more than just the floors. There were some safety sidewalks and crossings, and you know to get people from the garage to the zoo. There was a crossing to get to uh, the sunken gardens, I believe. Right. So what's coming out of there? Well, either either uh, something comes out because you're right. We've got uh, street crossing improvements, uh, connections to the sunken gardens as part of this. Um, now it may require a, a fundraising effort, which there's no leverage currently in this project. So it's, a, it's, it's envisioned as 100% city at 12 million. So if, if the committee cuts 250, that would either, I mean, we would look at every aspect of the project to see if we can cut the 250 back without cutting scope, if we can. If not, it might take a fundraising element there to get the 250. Right. Do you remember the last fundraiser for a parking garage? We could put somebody's name on it. Yeah. It? No. Um, no, I don't know. Uh, but it's, but not, the, it's not easy. It's not easy. To do. But, <laughs> but the zoo is, they are participating in, in uh, actually uh, building it and operating and maintaining the garage. Right. The, um, I don't remember that. No, this is, yeah, yeah. operations. Okay. Operation and maintenance. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah, I'm that's just, true. That's their leverage. They're operating and maintaining it. Once right. It's open. I'm going to stick with the rail plan or whatever your deal is, and yeah. Right. Okay, so Olga, before we do that, we're going to just hold on that. We're going to first vote on this on this package first. Okay, Charles, did you have a question or comment? Um. On this piece only. Yes, I um, just want everybody is asking me, are we uh, comfortable with that? Yes, we are. Um, I'm sure a council person would not uh, frown on the fact that we did this. Um, and we want to show that we are sensitive to everything that's going on here. We appreciate being part of the process. And we hoping and we want everybody to join us as, as we build toward our SA 2020 SA tomorrow and our tricentennial celebration because we only one city. And so to attract and entertain those 1.5 million people that is projected to come, we got to do something and we'll be remembered for what we did here today. So that's why we want to be a part of it. So the 250,000 we did um, talk about my colleague here, Mr. Reebok, um, when they asked us for 500,000, he said, we'll give you 250. So that's how we got there. 
Thank Good. You. Thank you. Okay, Sean. Just so I'm certain on the voting process right now, um, we've heard what Olga is proposing. So if we vote and it passes, she have opportunity to um, restate what she's offering and then we vote that in again, or do we vote for it to fail in order for her to... No, <laughs> we're gonna vote only on the CD5 package okay. right proposal right now, and then Olga will need to do a separate motion. Okay. So we're not voting on the this, uh, we're, we're only voting on CD5 right now. Okay. All right. So, as been as has been moved and seconded, the CD5 uh, proposal motion. Um, any other discussion? All those in favor, please raise your hand. All those against, please raise your hand. All those not in favor, I'm sorry, all those abstaining. One abstention. Very good, that motion passes. Now, Olga, would you please um, restate your motion? My motion is to take $100,000 from the increase for Jupy Park and give it to Norm Oil to go to the senior softball. That would bring it to a million dollars one. And may I get a second from another district, please? Jacob Valenzuela, just Council District Seven. Any more? Any discussion on that? Okay, let's just give a second to get that up on the screen. Okay, so we have a motion and a second. And I think we're all very excited to take this vote. Because <laughs> it's the last one. But the process is not over, and so don't jump out of your seats because I'm turning it back over to my co-chair to talk about the next steps. So don't jump out of your seat. Just a few more minutes. Okay. Okay, so all those in favor, please raise your hand. All those not in favor, please raise your hand. Okay, Marcos, right? Not, did you, not in favor, right? Just clarifying, okay? All those abstaining. Okay, very good. And I, we do have one more vote. Do we have a list of those? Okay. Okay, just, just give me one more minute. We're just clarifying one more point. Hang on one second. While I do that, um, why don't we have Brian, can you clarify the timeline? Perfect. All right. So uh, after we leave here, um, January 11th, that's a Wednesday, will be City Council B session. That'll be the presentation of the Community Bond Committee's project recommendations. So everything we've done here, uh, that'll go up, up before them. Uh, January 19th, which is a Thursday, a uh, week and a day past the last one, that'll be City Council A session. That'll be the adoption of projects for 2017 bond election. And then February 9th, which is a Thursday, will be City Council A session. And that'll be the city council call for the 2017 bond election. No. <laughs> you haven't got enough emails already? Yes, yes, of course. Um, and I think staff will note that we'll get emails. And, uh, and of course, May 6, 2017 is the uh, public vote. So, yeah. One last vote. 
The vote that we are requesting a motion and a second is for all of the other staff recommended projects that we did not amend. So it is the balance of the package, right? So everything else that is remaining. And you can use your staff recommended, it was the original list yes. that we have. Yes, Ken. Um, I just want to make sure that it includes the motion that was made last week where District 8, and we truly appreciate uh, the $2 million that they gave to District 10 from McAllister Park. So I want to make sure. Can, we can't, I'm sorry, we can't hear you, Ken. Oh. Yeah. I just want to make sure that the vote was that was taken last week where District 8 uh, allocated $2 million. I just want to make sure. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, the motions made last week that were gave $2 million to McAllister Park are a part of this overall motion that we're about to make. Yes. Okay. Yes, as part of the record. Okay. Absolutely. Make sure. Yeah. Thank as you. you can see, and it tracks um, on all of the documentation that is part of it. Very good. Okay, so a motion and a second to accept all of the staff recommendations that were not amended. So, um, Kathy and then Nicholas is a second. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. All those not in favor, please raise your hand. All those abstaining, Ken abstaining. Okay. We are done. Congratulations. Great job, everyone. Kumbaya.